What's up losers, KD3 here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to find all of the costumes in Persona 3 Reload. Yes, even those costumes. Let's get into it. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! We'll start with the C's uniforms. These outfits will unlock for everyone after June 13th. Moving on, we have the winter uniform. To get the male winter uniforms, you must complete Elizabeth's 10th request, which is to bring her a beef bowl. This can be done by purchasing the fan book from the Net Cafe at the Iwatadai Strip Mall. Run the software on the public computer in the dorm to become a member. Then purchase a beef bowl from the restaurant. Bring it to Elizabeth to complete the request. To get the female uniforms, you must complete request number 17, which is to fuse Oberon with the skill Mazio. To fuse it, you can use Silky and Archangel. It will learn Mazio on its own once it levels up to 17, so only one level up is required. Something I'm confused about is that Elizabeth request number 96 also said that it gives winter uniforms as a reward. If you're going to complete that one, you must purchase three drinks from the vending machine during the school trip. Go to the persimmon tree and speak to the girl there. She will sell you the Odin juice that Elizabeth wants for 5,000 yen. Report to Elizabeth to complete the request. Next we'll be moving on to the winter garb outfits. To get the male winter garb outfits, you must complete Elizabeth request number 45, which is to fuse a Mithras that's level 26 or higher. You can use Jack-o-lantern and Tam Lin. This outfit will show up for the protagonist as the dark jacket. To get the female winter garbs, you'll need to complete Elizabeth request number 18, which is to bring her a rose bouquet. Head to Raffolgia at the Port Island station to get them then return to Elizabeth to complete the request. We'll be moving on to the summer school uniforms now. To get the male summer school uniforms, you must complete request number 62, which is to fuse Titania with Mataru Kaja. You cannot do this request if you have not completed the other three requests in the Fusion series. The easiest way to get this persona is to fuse Black Frost with Dominion or Throne. Black Frost already knows Mataru Kaja, so you can transfer it to Titania. To get the female uniforms, you must complete Elizabeth request number 39. Elizabeth wants to to hear the music unique to your high school. Go to the PA room next to class 2F and you'll find it. Bring it back to Elizabeth to complete the request. Next, we'll move on to the summer garb outfit. To get these, you must complete Elizabeth request number 42, Feed the Cat. The cat can be found at the port station outskirts. Bring it some cat food from the pharmacy at Polonia Mall. You'll need to feed it for multiple days until it fully recovers. This outfit will appear for the protagonist as the crew neck t-shirt. To get the female summer garb, you must complete Elizabeth request number 63, which is to fuse the persona Rangda. It must be level 54 or higher. You can create Rangda using Naga Raja and Hanuman. Next we have the tuxedos. Each character's tuxedo can be found inside of a chest in Tartarus. Junpei's is located on floor 42 and requires three twilight fragments. Akihiko's can be found on floor 60. Shinjiro's can be found on floor 143 and also requires three twilight fragments. Ken's can be found on floor 193 and requires three twilight fragments. And yes, Koromaru has a tuxedo as well. It can be found on floor 1225. The main characters is located on floor 255 and also requires three twilight fragments. Before we continue, I'd like to mention that Koromaru has a unique costume called the Winged Dog Suit. It is located in Tartarus, but unfortunately no one, including myself, can remember what floor it's actually on. Please forgive me. The protagonist also has a unique costume called the Gecko Cotton Jersey that can be found at the end of the Monad Deaths on floor 91 of Tartarus. Next up, we'll be moving on to the costumes that I know you guys really want. We'll be starting with the maid outfits. To unlock Mitsuru's maid outfit, you must complete Elizabeth request number 35, which is to fuse Mothman with the Agi Lao skill. You cannot do this if you haven't done the other requests in the Fusion series. You can either do this by using a skill card, or if you don't have one, take Jack-o-lantern that knows the skill and fuse it with King Frost to create Queen Medby. Pass down the skill in the process, then fuse Queen Medby with Matador to get Mothman. Make sure you pass down the skill as well. Now if you don't have King Frost, just do Elizabeth's request to make a persona that's level 23 or higher. She will give you the sugar key which will let you make King Frost. To get Yukari's maid outfit, you must complete Elizabeth request number 92 which is to clean up the restroom. It can be found at Port Island Station above the movie theater. 
Now for the last two, I don't know which request gets you whose uniform between Aegis and Fuka, but they both have one as well. They can be obtained by doing Elizabeth request 86, which is to fuse Alice. This is a special fusion so it shouldn't be too hard unless you haven't been fusing. And the last maid outfit can be unlocked by doing Elizabeth request number 93, which is to water the flowers on the Geku Khan high rooftop. Next up is a beach outfit. To get Makoto's blue shorts, you need to do Elizabeth request number 72, which is to make a Daisoju with regenerate 3. I did this by fusing Kitan to Shing, who knows the skill, along with Thunderbird and passed it down. You'll find Shinjiro's bicolored shorts in the Monad Passage on floor 143 of Tartarus. You'll get them after defeating the second boss. To get Junpei's red shorts, you need to defeat the second boss in the Monad Passage on floor 171. To get Akihiko's blue swimwear, you must make it to the end of the Monad Passage in floor 197. To get Ken's striped wetsuit, you need to get it from a chest in the Monad Passage on floor 225. Moving on to the female characters now. You can unlock Fuka's Lime Swimwear by completing Elizabeth Request number 54, which is to attempt 100 shrine visits. Don't be fooled by the title. All you have to do is leave an offering at the shrine on three different days. To get Aegis's Sky Sundress, you must complete Elizabeth Request number 71, which requires you to fuse a Siegfried with the Endure skill. You can achieve this by fusing these two personas together. The persona I can't pronounce is the one that learns Endure, so just transfer it to Siegfried that way. Yukari's pink bikini can be found in the Monad Passage on floor 117 after defeating the Iron Dice and the Silent Block. Mitsuru's elegant bikini can be found in the Monad Passage on floor 255. And finally, the real reason why you guys clicked on this video in the first place, the sexy outfits. You know, and I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying every everybody else is gonna. You can get the battle panties from a chest on floor 91 of Tartarus. You'll need three twilight fragments though. Mitsuru's sexy armor can be found on floor 112, and it also requires three twilight fragments. And finally, Fuka's alluring armor can be found on floor 172 of Tartarus, and it also requires three twilight fragments. To get the Phantom Thieves outfits, Chujin Academy uniforms, and Yasogami High School uniforms, you have to pay for them by either going to the PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store, or the Steam Store.
Check out my playlist if you need help with anything else related to Persona 3 Reload. I've been covering everything that I can think of, so make sure you check it out. See you later.